regulorship, a judge must at all particular time be a solemn person, slow to anger, and of good temperaments. The Lordship, the statement indicates that the court has taken a position as against the respondents, uh, the, the petitioners. And the position is prejudicial to the petitioners and erodes their confidence to continue appearing and making submissions before this court. It was the observation of these honorable court, your lordships, that my client indicates that the court made further findings that the petitioners were not pursuing the urgency of the applications. What a reasonable man, a bystander, a fair-minded person, listening to these statements, internalizing them, will come to a conclusion that the court has taken a hard position on or against the petitioners. The test of a fair-minded person, your lordship, my lord, we really need to intervene, but my colleague, if he is had the time for it, it's okay. But let him tell you how, yes, the ruling you issued would be a basis for an application that was filed long before that ruling. Your lordship, if he may be patient, he'll have the, his chance to bite the cherry and respond in that manner he so thinks that he should. Your lordship, the application has also indicated that Justice E. Ogola is closely associated with his spouse who serves in the Water Kenya Towers Agency. The environments of our clients, your lordship, is that this is a matter that ought to have been disclosed at the inception of the proceedings. Let, let, me, let, me, let me get you right. You, you mean the judge is closely associated with the wife? <laughs> <laughs> that is not my statement. Yes, what, what is it that you said? Repeat for the record. May I repeat for the record? So that the court may not again misquote me. Proceed. Your Lordship, the spouse of his Lordship one Florence Oloch Auma. You, you depend to that issue? Yes. There's a disposition to that yeah, issue? Yes, there's a disposition to that, that issue. Allegedly. That Florence is the wife? Yes, there is. Paragraph? Yes, paragraph. <laughs> paragraph 13 of the supporting affidavit. As read with paragraph 11 of the father affidavit she holds a position in the Kenya Water Towers Agency an appointment that was done pursuant to the Gazette notice number 7515 of 2013 for and on behalf of the presidency by Siopan Tuya. Your Lordship, it may be, it may go on record that the six respondent who initiated or made these appointments is a party in these proceedings and that the parties no, my Lord, that's I'm not, not factually I'm not, correct. I'm not, I'm not getting you right, and I'm sorry for intervention. Where are you lost, my Lord? Here. Uh, if I'm looking at the same document as you, yes, the Gazette Notice 7515 was issued on the 7th day of June 2023 by Soipan Tunya. That's correct. Cabinet Secretary for Environment, Climate Change, and Forestry. That's correct. The sixth respondent in this proceedings is who? Is the dead? Is the president? Then where is the next? I, I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> I'll get there. Your Lordship, <coughs> the cabinet 
under the Constitution is constituted of the President, and the cabinet secretaries appointed there rather and the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. That Siopan Tuya is an agent of the presidency. Your Lordship, one of the issues that was before the impeachment was that the deputy president, the petitioner here really, indicated that Kenya is a shareholding country. There are shareholding agreements before you and that positions either in parastatals or corporations were to be shared in accordance to that share agreement. But that, that is the reason why his client got impeached. <laughs> that is not that is not anything that yeah, before you for determination. That is the reason he will be given an opportunity to respond. Even if you are each 